There's something unusual going on with money right now. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. I thought I would make a video talking about something unusual that's going on with money right now and thought I would uh, just sit down and talk about this really fast. Okay, so first off, how do we even start this? How do we start this? Okay, I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay, me. We look at my life last year. One big thing that I was doing, and I'm sure everyone can name off something that they were doing last year that they are not able to do this year, but one thing that I was doing last year, big time, was traveling around the world, okay? A large chunk of my income went to traveling, okay? A large chunk of it went to um, buying flights, um, hotels, hostels, taxis, Ubers, okay? Now, all of this year, pretty much all of 2020, I haven't done any traveling except for I went to New York for about a week, okay? Just very, very little traveling this year. So just first off, right off the bat, you take someone like me, I'm still working. I haven't stopped working at all, okay? But one thing that I do all the time, I'm unable to do anymore. I can still travel, but there are a lot of countries I can't go to. Now on the flip side, let's use let's use a different example here. Okay. Let's use the example of just people working. Okay, there are a lot of people who have not lost their jobs. Okay, there are a lot of people still working, you know, and anyone who works for the city, um, if you work in like, um, you know, manufacturing, if you work in any sort of design, if you work for a tech company, a lot of people are working remotely now, there's a lot of jobs that have not went away. However, on the flip side, there are a lot of people who have lost their jobs, there are a lot of you know, businesses that are still closed, there are a lot of businesses that are closed and they're not going to reopen. So yes, some people are in this situation where you know they've lost their job and they don't know where they're you know, they, they don't know what they're going to do when unemployment runs out. You know, some people are in this situation, okay? Not everyone is in this situation. There are a lot of people who are just like me, okay, who have continued to work this whole time. However, they're not doing things that they would want to do. And I'm going to use a different example, okay? S okay, sporting events. Okay, if you're the type of person, you like basketball or you like football or you like any type of sports, soccer or whatever, and let's say you were the type of person, you would always go to the games, okay? You would go to the games on the weekends, you know, you would, you know, go do the parking thing, you would do the tailgating. When you, when you do the tailgating, what do you do? You go, to, you go to the grocery store, you get a bunch of food, you meet in the parking lot early, you guys drink, you grill out, and then, you know, you gotta have the tickets. The tickets cost you a couple hundred dollars. You get to the event, it's been a couple hours later since y'all been tailgating, so you're ready to eat again. So what do you do? You go get some food, you know, at, at the game, and then, you, you know, you get some drinks at the game. You literally spend hundreds of dollars, and it's not just you, it's a state full of people spending hundreds of dollars okay not everyone in that stadium is out of a job maybe a large percent of people in that stadium is out of a job but not everyone in that stadium is out of a job but guess what no one can go to any of these events okay there's people out there with money and they just can't spend it okay right now there are less things to do in San Francisco Okay, if you are here, there are less things to do. A year ago, you could do things like, <laughs> gosh, go, go to a bar, go to a restaurant, um, <laughs> easily get on a flight. Like there's so many things you could do. You can go get a massage, you can go get your hair done. There's so, the list goes on and on and on. But this year, there's just not as many options. There's not as many options. So. I'm starting to see some things that I haven't seen before. Okay, so let's use another example. I have some photos I like to show you guys. Now, the first photo is one of the Gucci stores here in San Francisco. Now, a lot of people may say, well, it's Gucci. That's why people are standing outside. It's Gucci. That's why people are standing outside. Okay, I get it. But check this out. Before this pandemic started, it was never 
ever. A line outside of the Gucci store in San Francisco. Maybe in Hong Kong. Um, I've went to Hong Kong and they have, I want to say, like, I don't know how many Gucci stores, but it was like any, anywhere from seven to ten. And every single one, it was a line. This was in Hong Kong years ago. Never seen anything like this outside of Hong Kong. I'm pretty sure other parts of China, maybe there's long lines outside of, you know, stores like that um, back in the day. But nowadays, look around the country, like places like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, the Apple store, these are places with long lines. Now the second photo, this is a photo of the Louis Vuitton store. There is always a line outside of the Louis Vuitton store now. It kind of reminds me of the Gucci store. There's always lines outside of these stores. Always. Nowadays. Now, let's think about something here. Let's just go right down the street and let's just look at H&M. Now, I didn't take any photos, but let me tell you something. There's no line outside of H&M. If we go farther down Powell Street, there's a, there's, a, there's a gap. A lot of people don't know this, but this gap has already completely went out of business. Completely went out of business. There's no line outside of the gap. There's an Old Navy on Market Street. There's no line outside of the Old Navy. But usually, these cheaper retail stores, there's no lines for these stores because these stores are tapping out. These stores are going under, okay? But look at places like Louis Vuitton and Gucci and even the Apple Store. I took a photo of in front of the Apple Store, but it wasn't a line in front of the Apple Store. Not, not today, it wasn't a line. But I've noticed that usually there's always lots of people outside the Apple Store. So, so what's going on here? Okay? I think a lot of people are just saving a lot more money. And this is a fact. People are saving money because they can't do normal things that they're were once doing just a few months ago. They can't go to a restaurant and sit indoors. You have to sit outside. Okay, you can't go to a bar. All right, you, you can't go to a club. There's no dancing. You know, there's no concerts going on. You know, there's no, um, no, no sort of sporting events. So there's nothing like really extra to do, right? And anyone who was going out frequently and you're always going out partying anyone who was going to sporting events dude if you haven't lost your job you probably have a lot more money saved up okay so now people are spending money on other things that they were not spending money on before now remember when this pandemic first started there was a lot of talk about e-bikes right e-bike sales are up e-bike sales are up well think about this no one could go to the gym Right? So, okay, I totally get it. Like, an e-bike totally defeats the purpose of, you know, going to the gym. But then at the same time, there's also the coronavirus, so you want to avoid the bus. So instead of spending money on the bus, now you got, you, but you bought a new e-bike, so you wouldn't have to take the bus. And you also got a new e-bike, so you could ride your e-bike around and get a little bit of exercise on, you know? So, like, I just see people spending money in different ways than they were doing before. Um, especially with like these, these, these larger boutique retailers, you know, even myself, like, you know, like I've even bought things from Gucci just because, you know, I've been saving more money and it's like, well, I'm not going out. I'm not doing anything else. Like I'm just hanging out at the house watching YouTube videos. So, So yeah, why not get some fancy shoes, and why not get a fancy bag, and why not get something cool that you're not going to have anywhere to go to and show it off for some time. Yeah, something along those lines, but yeah, I thought I would make a video just pointing some of these observations out that I've sort of noticed over the time, but anyway, like comment subscribe thanks a lot for watching let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below like what are things like what are things like where you live i mean do you see you know fancy retailers doing good in times like this do you see like you know cheaper places going out of business because i definitely see a lot of mom and pop businesses going out of business i see a lot of chains going out of business but I'm seeing a lot of lines in front of these, these, these nice fancy stores, you know? They're not going out of business. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.